Welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas, every week at least twice. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I want to thank all of y'all for being here. Y'all go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button down there because I see a lot of y'all watching when I look at my analytics and a lot of y'all aren't not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the dislike button. That's fine too. Just hit one of them. So I get credit for them all. So I want to thank all of y'all for helping me make that money. Um, I never expected it, but thank you, thank you. So um, let's back up. Hello, hello. We got a penny list. You know, I got my glasses on. We do have a penny list. You know, the last couple of videos, y'all have made comments. I've been forgetting to put on my penny glasses, just like I did today. So, I'm sorry. I want to apologize for that, because I depend on these glasses to make me feel good. <laughs> so, anyway, let me take them off, because we do have a penny list. But, before we get started on the penny list, I want to uh, just bring up a couple of things. Um... You know, penny shopping is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's true. You never know when you leave the house to go look for them what you're going to find. But anyway, um, I'm not going to get to go penny shopping on Tuesday because this week, it, this next week is when i got to have that brain aneurysm repair looked at. So... Sunday night, I can't eat or drink anything after midnight, and then um, first thing Monday morning, I gotta be at the hospital at 7, so all they're gonna do is they're gonna go in there through my wrist, go up there and look at the coils that they put up in there and make sure after... Um, I finished the Berlinta medication and everything, and um, I've had a month off of that. They want to go up there and just make sure everything's in the place where they want it to be. So, fingers crossed, when they go up there Monday morning, that it will look okay and it will be in the place they wanted it to be. And then they said if everything checks out good, they will release me, so... Prayers that I will be released possibly Monday and uh, after I have that procedure. So when I have that procedure, they've done that kind of thing like twice for sure. And when I get done, I kind of feel like I've been sick. So I'm kind of like, not lethargic, but I feel tired like I'm getting over being sick. So I'm pretty much laying in the bed for almost two weeks except to get up and eat. So, y'all put the prayers out for me, because I'm going to need them Monday morning. But, um, Monday morning, um, after I had the procedure, um, they usually make me stay there six hours, because the first six hours, or first four or five hours after the procedure, I have to lay flat with uh, my hands down. I can't move my hands because of that. Uh, cut right there so they want me to just stay still and put my arms down so it don't start bleeding so um, I have to stay at the hospital for six hours and then Robert can take me home so I'm excited to be over that I just pray I never have any more aneurysms because that Berlinta is like a nightmare oh I'm so glad I'm off of that stuff but anyway I wanted to give you all an update you know, I made a video the other day about my little outside kitten. He's not a kitten. He's a year old. That his name is Flipper. And I made a video about him and showed y'all his wound on his elbow. Now, he was born with that uh, leg like that. It, it's like a birth defect. So, it's always, you know, a cat's paw just bends right here. But Flipper's bends like he has an elbow, and cats really don't have an elbow, but, you know, it, it's deformed, and it's in, and his wound is like right there where he walks. He walks on this part of his, on his leg. But anyway, I wanted to give y'all an update on that, but since I made that video, I had, I watched y'all's comments, and quite a few of y'all really said, go ahead and make that 
GoFundMe page. So I did. I made a GoFundMe page for Flipper. And it is under my name, Peggy Starnes, S-T-A-R-N-E-S. Now, I'm sure you can find it under Peggy or under Flipper. But it is a GoFundMe page to help Flipper. So... Um, I've already got $25 in there, and I just started it. Let's see, today is Sunday, so I think I started it Friday. I don't know what day I did that video. Probably, I don't know, today is Friday, so I probably made it Tuesday or something. I don't know. Y'all tell me when I made it. But anyway, since I made that video, I started him a GoFundMe page, and um I've already got $25 from two of my friends that wanted to uh, start the donation. But thanks to my friend Cheryl in Florida, she was the first one. So thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. Flipper's going to love you for it. But anyway, um, y'all go over there. I've got 5,000 subscribers plus, almost 6,000. And, um, you know... It, I only need $500. The doctor, I called three or four, five um, veterinarians, and they said that um, they couldn't do it. But I finally found an animal hospital in South Arlington that uh, would do it, and they want $300 just for me to show up so they can look at it. And then possibly a couple hundred dollars to either stitch it or, or whatever I'm going to need next. But So I just put 500 on there. So if y'all can, go over there and donate to Flipper's little arm. Uh, he's just a sweet kitty. He, he, he really he lets me pet him. He looks at me like if I could help him. Robert and I don't have any money. We live on $1,000 a month. Now think about that. Now, there is no money for wild cats, but we do have Charlie, and you know, Charlie has seizures, and I've made video about that, and his medication is a pharmacy medication, and we have to go to the pharmacy and pick it up, and we've got one out of town that we drive to that's the cheapest one we can find, and I never knew that from drugstore to drugstore that prescriptions are different prices so if you've got a medication that you take and it's kind of expensive for you and you don't have medicare or what call around robert got on the phone and he called every pharmacy he could till he found a pharmacy that didn't want to charge us fifty dollars for um gabapentin and we get it for like six dollars and that's that is such a saving. So y'all call around at different pharmacies if y'all need medications that you can't afford because they are different prices at different drugstores. Who knew? I didn't know. But anyway, y'all go over there and, and help Flipper if you can. Um, I love him and I, I don't know what to do. I don't want to put him to sleep because I can't afford that either. But, um, you know, he's been living like that a long time. So... I don't, I don't know. He's, he's not got fever. I've felt of him. So he, he's good. He just needs a little uh, medical attention. But anyway, um, uh, okay, so the Halloween decorations, uh, costumes, Candy, all of that at my stores are 50% off right now today. Come Tuesday morning on the 15th, check the Halloween candy and costumes. Uh, they should be 70% off come Tuesday morning on the 15th. Now, I do have quite a few people that I send over here to my channel and say, if you want to learn how to penny shop, Go over and check out Peggy's Corner because they always want to know, how do you know stuff's a penny? Well, I'll tell you how we know that stuff's a penny. We go to the Play Store or wherever you download your apps and you download that Dollar General app. It's yellow and it's a Dollar General app. You download that and then when you tap on it and open it up, Right up there in the top corner in that search bar right there. 
there is can you I don't know if you can see that the, the light but anyway in the search bar right up there there is a little barcode thing you just tap on that barcode and it will open up this now that's where you scan you just line up that barcode pit with your camera lens and scan it and it will bring up a price so right now today um, this Clover Valley chicken broth is on the penny list for Tuesday but it is ringing up if you find it today 65 cents if you find it on Tuesday morning it'll be a penny but I bought a bunch of this when they had that 50% off of clearance plus an extra 50% off so Miss Peggy got a whole bunch of these for 33 cents or 30 cents I don't remember which but it was 30 something cents and um, you know these things don't even well this one did it expired in June but if you get something that says it's expired or close to expired at the Dollar General just go on Google and in the search bar just type in how long is Clover Valley chicken broth good for after the expiration date. I do that on most everything that I get from the Dollar General that has uh, almost expired or I find it in my pantry that's expired. I Google it. A lot of stuff is good for six months to a year after that date. So just because it says on the can don't mean you have to throw it away so a lot of people throw away good food so let's stop throwing it away and get on google and check how long is it good for after the expiration date and um now this penny list that's expected on tuesday is one two three four five different categories and they are the category that's been in for the last week and it's going to be included the pink square summer swim toys they all got the pink square on them just like that now I've been buying a lot of these pink square um, because I can sell them in my yard sale but if you want some for a penny there's the barcode on that. Just punch that in the app. Monitor that. And then come Tuesday, you can go get these pink square swim toys for a penny. Now, right now, they're ringing up 90% off. So, I got that $25 kid swimming pool for $2.50. You can't beat it. I can get $5 easy for it at my yard sale. And I'm going to have it in April, so it's right before summer. So, I think kids are going to want to love that. But anyway, the pink square going to be a penny on Tuesday morning. Now, uh, these items that, um, that I'm telling you about, um, these have been 90% off for a couple of weeks now. But anyway, the lawn and garden um, stuff, let me show you something that I went and got this morning. I went to Dollar General to get some dog food, and I was back by the toilet paper, and um, you know how I dig in the ball box. Well, I was digging in the broom trash can. You know where all the Dollar Generals keep that broom trash can in the back corner of the store well I was digging in that thing and I found a fall or I don't know what do they say that Christmas stuff is fall or winter um, 2020 Christmas thermos it was about that big and it was it was a thermos and it was a like with a lid on it and I scanned it and it said a penny I tossed it in my basket, but when it got up to the register, 
that guy said that it rang up. It said enter the the code, the department code. He said he didn't even know what a department code is. So if, if y'all know what department codes are, put them in the comment down there. So I want to know. Curious minds need to know. But then I'll, I'll know next time what to tell him. But anyway, the um, lawn and garden stuff will be a penny. But I want to show you that these are following the summer lawn and garden. So, um, I was at the store today back by the toilet paper and these with a couple other things were on the end cap just sitting there. So, I was just scanning them. This scanned up a dollar. It, it's got a price on it, $12. So, it rang up a dollar twenty. scanned when I scanned. That's 90% off. So, it, it has an S22 on the bottom, so that is summer of 22. So, yeah, if y'all see any of these, these are $1.20 right now, and they're normally 12 bucks, And they're just lanterns, but it's ceramic. So, there was two of them on the shelf, so I went ahead and got two. Now, I'm glad I did, because I can't go penny shopping Tuesday. I'm going to be out of the out of the loop of penny shopping for two weeks so i'm gonna miss this tuesday and i'm gonna miss next tuesday but um i will be able to give you the penny list that's not gonna stop but i just can't leave the house but um y'all go to that pennies 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 and y'all post your stuff because i love to see them but anyway these will penny and some of the managers and people really don't under, I don't even know this goes with the summer stuff. So, um, yeah. Now, here is the barcode for that. Let me see if I can hold it up for you. But it's a lantern. So, yeah. So, I got two of them. So, um... All of this stuff in this corner right here that you can see, that is all penny stuff. It's like doormats and uh, nose spray, pink square toys. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. When I get ready to price this stuff after Christmas, I'm going to show y'all what's in all them boxes. That closet over there is full of penny stuff and half of this bed is full of penny stuff. But anyway, let's get back to the lawn and garden. You'll find those lanterns at the NCI store. Not just the regular ones. I don't think they carried them, but just the NCI store. So go there and look for them. And then you got the 4th of July seasonal. Now, I'm not sure if I got any 4th of July. Um, these are patriotic. I think these are the 4th of July summer party. And then these are, now remember, I already told you all, but the purple dot paper plates, if you see them in your clearance, I'll scan them because these are following um, the um, spring and summer stationary party. These are. When you scan them, they're already 90% off. I paid 10 cents for these purple dot plates. Now, the Purple Dot plates has been sitting there for a long time since everything else that Purple Dot pennied, but they did not, but they are now. So, get ready for those, but, um, yeah, you've got the checkers, you've got the limons, paper plates, and smaller, so I'm going to... Take pictures of all of these and don't forget the pickup trucks. These are part of the patriotic plates. And they all have a S21 on the back. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you all the pictures that I possibly can and the barcodes for them. So stay tuned for that. So always wait till the end to see the penny list. So uh, yeah, the patriotic party. Is going to penny the summer and spring stationary party. And you know there is also a couple of coloring books. And I'm not really sure which ones they are. But um, I, I don't know that I've even seen them. But I know there was a couple of them that followed that summer. Um, summer 
um, the summer, no, it's the spring and summer stationery and party. I think it followed that. But anyway, check and see if you can find them. Uh, I, I can't find them. But anyway, we got the Campbell's Disney Paw Patrol Soup. And it's just in a, like a condensed soup. It's, it's Campbell's, and it's got a little Paw Patrol boy on it. And I think the soup is in a blue label. And um, then you got this chicken broth. Then you got some good and smart uh, tomato soup. You got a Nico wafer candy chocolate. It's at the front end by the checkout stand. And it will be in a roll. And they're going to be little wafer candies. And they're about that long. And uh, they should be up by the register where that candy is. And then the Keebler Fudge Stripe Jurassic Park Cookies. My store does not have any of those. But they got a dinosaur on them on the right side of the packaging. So look for the dinosaur because it says Jurassic Park. So that dinosaur should catch your eye. So... And then there's a Mambo Magic Sticks Fruit Chews. I did see some of those at my store while ago when I was up there. But I guess they're just going to be, somebody else is going to get them. That's fine. I, I love it when penny shoppers, and I love to run into penny shoppers. So if you ever run into me, just give me a hi. And then, um, you know, the Mambo Magic Sticks are in a, in a peg bag. They kind of hang on a peg. And then the Twizzler Field Tropical Blast, it's a lay-down bag. And you can find that in the bag candy aisle. And it's going to be laying down in those wire baskets because it's a lay-down bag. So look for that there. And then the Pringles... The Pringles is the Los Calientes chips, and I think that's kind of spicy. And those Pringles have a bottle of that Caliente, um, Los uh, Caliente, I think it's a spicy something. But it has one of those bottles on the bottom of the, of the package, and those Pringles... You know where the Pringles are. Um, if you if you don't find them in the clearance aisle where they keep the food, look on the regular aisle because I have seen those because I got some of um, those. They're they're scorching like you know I already got some of those scorchings that Penny last time and they're hot man and I did I did see some of those at my store but anyway those are gonna Penny. And they're 5.5 ounces. Now, there is also a Cheez-It puffed scorching uh, bag of Cheez-Its that's going to penny. And those Cheez-It bags are in a, like a red and yellow bag or red and green. But they are underneath where they keep the Pringles. The Pringles are up here. Those uh, Cheez-It bags are underneath there at the bottom. Last year when they pennied, I got a whole bunch of those. And I shared them with everybody I knew. So. And then there's also the Hershey's Red, White, and Blue Cookies and Cream 6-Pack. Now those are usually just laying on a shelf in the candy aisle where they keep the peg bag candies, the lay down bag candies. They have a little shelf. And that's where they keep them there. I've seen them there year after year when they penny. I've even got some of them a couple of years ago. So look there for them. Now also, just a reminder that um, the Green Star and the Yellow and White Dot hat, shoes, and accessories have penny. Now I think the Green Star is the yoga pants. But uh, y'all keep your eye out for some of that stuff because I've been to a few stores. I hadn't found none of it. But, you know, it didn't penny until after I went penny shopping. And then sometimes it's hard for me to get back out. 
But I did go look at a couple stores. I didn't find any of them. But y'all keep your eye out. They're going to be... Um, I think they're summer of 21, not summer of 22. But they have pennied. So y'all keep your eye out for those. And the duffel bags. So the uh, yellow or white dot... Um, duffel bags. I've seen those that have pennies. So there's just a whole bunch of stuff uh, on here. You've got like tons of stuff in these categories that's been 90% off and all of that stuff is is basically seasonal stuff. I mean the swimming pools are seasonal. The lawn and garden is seasonal. Fourth of July is seasonal. Patriotic is seasonal. Summer and spring and summer stationary is seasonal. So Anything that looks like summer to you, go ahead and scan it. So, watch the end of this video for the penny list and the visuals. And y'all don't forget, pray for me for Monday. And if you can, I'm not e-begging, I'm just saying, if you can or you know anybody that can, Lead them over to the GoFundMe page. If you have any problem finding it, I don't know if I can put a link or not. I'm not sure how to do that. But if you can't find it, just uh, send me a message and I'll try my best to either get somebody else to give you the link. Because I have a lot of subscribers that help out in my comments. When y'all ask for something, my subscribers are very, very helpful in answering y'all's questions even before I even get to read the question they've already answered it for you so I thank them all the time so y'all are doing a great job I've got some uh, moderators that don't even know you're moderated by helping me with my my subscribers so thank you thank you thank you for all of those helpful comments that y'all are doing with people in my comments that ask questions so I think that's a great thing and I thank y'all for that so anyway, I've, I've chewed on your ear long enough, but um, watch for the end of this video and you can see the penny list, uh, screenshot some stuff to take with you to the store. And thank you, thank you, Cheryl. And um, I haven't seen Pamela Brooks lately. Pamela Brooks is one of my friends too. And if y'all have seen her, tell her I said hi and put me a comment. I miss her. She has really been a good person for my um for my mental stability her and cheryl uh are really uh, good because you know um you everybody has to have friends so i love y'all adios from north texas and goodbye from cowtown and i'll see you in my next video probably be from the hospital on tuesday but what can i say I'll think of something to tell y'all. <laughs> See ya.